After a nice time away, we need to hook on with our truck to hit the road. As we go into the van, on the right hand side in the cupboard, we can find our Lippert electric levelling control pad. We're going to turn this on using the power button on the top right and then we're going to scroll down using the arrows on the left hand side until we find auto ret rear. We press enter and that's going to automatic retract the rear legs all the way up ready to go. Before we hook on we need to make any adjustments to the height of the Rambler in line with the truck. So to do this we go to the control panel back in the door to adjust the height. So we scroll through the menu until we find manual mode. We press enter then from here we can press front to lift it up or we press retract so that the light comes on and then front and then that will lower the van down. And then once we found the height that we're happy with we can then finish off hooking on with the truck. Before we hook on we need to make sure the tailgate of the truck is up and out of the way. The reason why is we use the screws on the back of the tailgate to keep in line when using the rear view mirror to line up with the pin on the front of the trailer. As we're reversing back we then make sure the pin drops just below so that we can't see any more and that means we have enough distance to then drop the tailgate down before we then back up further and hook on. So another tip, as well as the screws on the back of the tailgate, you can also use some tape on the lip of the tailgate and on the back window. You can also use the tag on the centre headrest as an alignment guide when you're reversing back on. I reverse back now, I've dropped the tailgate and I've come now up to the hitch where I'm happy now that we're in line. From the side onwards, I can see we are a little bit too high. So we're just gonna adjust that on the control panel, lower it down slightly and then we can then go on from there. Now we need to do some final checks before we hook on. We need to make sure the handle is all the way back in and that the latch is open, as well as making sure the handbrake is fully applied. Once we've done these checks, we can then hook on in a fluid movement, letting the trailer stop us. Now we've hooked on, we just need to do a couple of safety checks to make sure everything's all right before we go. So first off, we want to make sure the handle is all the way back in to allow the latch over and we can lock it in place. What you can do is use a padlock to lock it for travel and transport so that no one can mess with it when you're on the service station. Now we've done that, we want to do a quick visual check from behind to make sure everything is all right. Now we've hooked on and we've checked everything over We've done our safety checks and we've plugged all the electrics in. We can now unwind the handbrake, lift the front legs up and then do our final checks. To lift the front legs up, we need to turn the control panel on and then we want to use these arrows to scroll up until we see auto ret all. That's going to automatically retract all the legs all the way up. The legs are all up and we're good to hit the road now. We've got a few final checks to do, such as lock all your lockers, close the main door, disconnect all your water and your electrics, check the lights on the back of the trailer, and then check the wheel torques on the wheels. Mm -hmm. 